Welcome everybody to episode 28 of Morning Coffee Flow, where we drink coffee and do yoga. This energizing 20 minute flow will be an uplifting start to your day and ensure that no matter what comes your way, you'll be able to face it with resilience and grace. This episode of Morning Coffee Flow, we are focusing on the transition between our tiger pose and cat. Go ahead, roll out your mat, and I'm going to roll the intro screen. Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon Slaughter, helping you discover that fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. Okay, grab some coffee, grab some water if you need it, and let's begin. Beginning today's class in a comfortable seated position. Go ahead and close your eyes, roll your shoulders back, and we will begin. So inhale through the nose, and exhale out the nose. Good, steady inhales through your nose. Gentle exhales out your nose that gentle constriction in the back of your throat, helping to create that ujjayi breath, that audible sound. And allowing your mind to settle on an intention for your practice today. So something uplifting, motivating, grounding, soothing, anything you wish. Good, and once you have that magical thing, go ahead, sealing it with three cleansing breaths. So inhale through your nose, inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Good, inhale through the nose, inhale, inhale, inhale. We hold and exhale out the mouth. Good, once more, big inhale through your nose, inhale, 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 hold, hold, hold. Side out. Opening up your eyes, go ahead and just swing on around into all fours into a tabletop ah, position. Good. Just wag things out, move things around. So flowing between our tiger and our cat pose today, but starting with the cat cows just to get things loosened up. So make sure those wrists are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Go ahead, inhale, drop your belly, look up for cow, good, exhale, cat, gently round, push the earth away from you, good, inhale for cow, and exhale, cat, inhale, cow, exhale, cat, inhale, cow, and we exhale, cat, good, wag it out, move around, Go ahead and walk your hands and feet out just a little bit, downward facing dog. We will get to our transition momentarily, I promise, but for now, just kind of waking things up, alternating your heels, shaking things up, getting loose. Good, okay. Let's take that left leg, inhale, three-legged, exhale, bring it through base of your lunge, and then hands on up overhead. Crescent lunge, good, breathe. Hands come on down, good, take that right foot, brief standing splits, exhale, forward fold, set it down, great. Inhale, half lift, lengthen through your spine, exhale, forward fold, chin, last to rise, slow, inhale, coming all the way up, hands up, overhead, sigh, ah, inhale, hands up, and exhale, fold, come all the way down, good, hands on the mat, come on back into your plank pose, strong plank, breathe, tabletop, good, wag it out, okay, take that left hand, extend it on out, and then extend your right leg on back, so this is our tiger pose, good, breathe, and then set that hand, that knee down, then push into cat. Good, inhale out into tiger pose. Exhale, set it down as you push into cat. Good, let's do it one more. Left hand comes out, and exhale cat. So we just keep kind of doing the same side. We're gonna get to the next side as we go through the next side. So go ahead, walk your hands and feet out, back into down dog. 
Right leg, brief three-legged. Bring it through, base of your lunge, and then hands up overhead, balance. Good. Hands can come on down. Brief standing splits, lift that back leg, forward fold. Good. And then inhale for half lift, you lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold, relax. Chin is the last rise, coming all the way up, hands up overhead, sigh. Ah, inhale, hands up, and exhale, fold, come all the way down, good. Come on back into plank pose, holding your plank nice and strong, breathe. And then tabletop, good. All right, so go ahead and bring your right hand out this time. Left leg comes back, tiger pose, balance, breathe. Set it down and cat pose round. Good. Okay, so we inhale out into that tiger pose. Remember, it's our right hand that comes out and our left leg that goes back. Exhale, cat, as you set it down. Good. Inhale out into tiger. Exhale, cat, set it down. Inhale, tiger pose. And exhale, cat. Good. Shake it out. Move around. Okay. Walk hands and feet back out into your down dog. Good. Pedal things out. Move it around. Right. Left leg, three-legged down dog. Bring that foot through. Base of your lunge. Ground down your back heel. Come on up into a warrior two. Good. Breathe. All right. Straighten your front knee and then reverse triangle so that right hand comes down left hand comes up coming back good into your regular warrior and then bring your hands on down good so framing your foot base of your lunge here lower that back right knee down to the mat untuck your toes we're going to come into tiger pose from here you're going to extend your left foot on back and then your right hand comes out. So inhale into tiger pose. Exhale, cat. And do it once more. Inhale out into tiger. Exhale, cat. Okay, let's just do it three times. Inhale it out. Exhale, cat round. Good. Wag it out. Move around. All right, walk your hands and feet out. Downward facing dog. Good. Right foot. Brief three-legged, bring it through, base of your lunge. Good, stay here, ground down that back heel, come on up into your warrior two. Doing your checks, right, right knee stacked above that ankle, heels more or less in one line. Good, eye gaze over that front hand. How's your breath? In through your nose, out through your nose. Good, straighten your front knee, reverse triangle. Getting that lengthening in that right side body, right? And back to warrior two. Good. Okay, so bring your hands all the way down to the earth, framing that foot. Come down to that back left knee. It's kind of this modified position, right? Okay, from here, we're going to take our right foot back and our left hand out into tiger pose. So when you're ready, inhale. Out into tiger, exhale, set it down, rounding in your spine, cat. Inhale, tiger pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, tiger pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, tiger. Exhale, cat. Good, wag it out, move around. So it's a nice little simple flowy transition to kind of do in between things so walk your hands out a little bit we'll come back into down dog once more ah. step walk jump hop those feet all the way to the top of your mat for your forward fold relax chin is last to rise slow steady coming all the way up hands up overhead side out ah. hands by your side good shake it out move things around good okay coming into a very brief tree into dancing shiva kind of transition series i know we did this in another um video but you know it's a good transition so why not throw it in there hands on your hips 
go ahead and left foot just kickstand it balance in your tree so that left foot kind of just place it wherever you like that inner calf inner thigh wherever it may be for you okay so we will inhale bring your right hand up and then left hand back so and as you do this you kind of exhale and open into it so we're coming into that dancing shiva so inhale bring that knee up exhale bring that left hand back good inhale back to tree stay here balance exhale take an inhale and then exhale come on back into dancing shiva once more balance okay set it down good shake things out move around okay we're gonna do the next side so take that right heel kickstand it on the inside of that foot good all right and then taking that leg up maybe just a little bit balance you can grow your branches in your tree if you like or just leave them on your hips finding that steady focus balance good okay when you're ready you inhale into your dancing shiva or inhale bring that knee out and then exhale back into dancing shiva so it's kind of like you know part by part so inhale bring that knee up grab for it exhale bring that arm back stay here take a breath cycle good and then go ahead inhale back into tree stay here exhale balance when you're ready inhale grab for that left left hand grabs for right knee right and then right hand comes back exhale good and set it down good so just trying to intentionally throw you off in your balancing stuff here so making it intentionally harder so that you know it's even harder to balance because balance is very important in our yoga practice okay so enough standing stuff let's get back down to the mat for more of this transition hands heart center inhale them up exhale sigh <sighs> inhale hands up and exhale fold all the way down good all right go ahead and come on back into your downward facing dog shake it out a little bit move it out you can rest on down to your knees got that tabletop so we are going to kind of move in between um doing this uh, pose so alternating each side so strong right hand on the earth because your left hand comes on out and then right leg comes back so stay here stay here in your tiger pose take an inhale slow exhale come to cat switching sides from your cat pose inhale right hand out so that left leg comes back right exhale set it down cat pose opposite side so it's left hand inhale tiger pose good exhale cat inhale tiger exhale cat inhale tiger exhale cat inhale tiger maybe getting a little bit of that back bend lift 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 exhale cat once more inhale tiger pose exhale cat inhale tiger pose exhale cat round good and then bring your knees together just sitting back in your thunderbolt good all right so from your thunderbolt bringing your arms up overhead we have our half tortoise so coming on down nice and slow 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 knife edges of your pinkies on the mat and your forehead so your forearms don't relax on the mat it's just the edges of your pinkies as best as you can good if you need to lift your butt to allow your forehead to come on down go ahead and we breathe And slowly hinging back on up. Good. Shake it out. Move around. All right. Coming into our camel pose. Kind of don't really do the camel, rabbit, half tortoise stuff very much in these morning coffee flows. So squeezing them in here. Go ahead and come up onto your knees for your camel. Hopefully kind of loosened up that spine, right? In our whole cat cow and then you know tiger into cat pose so making fists bring them onto your low back bring your eye gaze up good 
taking this bit by bit. So inhale, heart open. Just by a tiny bit, exhale, hinge back. Inhale, heart open. Exhale, hinge back. Inhale, heart open. Exhale, hinge back. Keep going. And slowly, you can come back to neutral. Good, hands on the earth. Bring your knees together. Sitting on back. Thunderbolt pose. All right, and from here, we are coming into rabbit. So kind of getting that whole spine extension flexion movement going today. Chin into chest, forehead down to your knees and rounding, rounding, rounding. Good. Hands on your heels, holding. If you can, elevating those, good, those glutes, getting some rounding in that spine. Very gently pulling on those heels and setting it down. Good. Shake things out. Move around. Okay. So we have to go through our transition one more time because we've been neglecting our coffee. So bringing your coffee into a drinkable position here on your mat. Good. Okay. So go ahead and extend that right leg on back and then left hand grabs for your coffee go ahead and take a sip here your tiger set it on down good and then you can bring that knee down good and then around and then your spine good come back to neutral okay right hand grabs for your coffee left leg extended on back taking that sip in your tiger Set it down, good. And then cat pose round. Come back to neutral. Okay, we gotta do this once more. Left hand grabs for your coffee. Bring that right leg back, raising up into tiger. Setting it down, cat pose. Good, inhale, pick up that coffee. Right hand, extend that leg back, take a sip. And exhale, set it down. Good. Wag it out, move around. You can set your coffee off to the side there. And then from here, just go ahead, swinging things on around, laying on down in your Shavasana. We still have a couple poses to go through in our Shavasana, so stay with it. Do not skip this portion of class. Good. Feet fall out, arms fall out, just relaxing in your shvasana. Good. Only just a couple of more very brief poses. So go ahead and bring your feet flat on the earth. Excellent. And just gently hugging those knees in. You're drawing little circles, taking tension out of that low back, right? Really small, tiny circles, nothing drastic. You can set your feet on down and then allow the soles of your feet to come together. Those knees drop on out, coming into that Supta Baddha Konasana, our reclined bound ankle. Just breathe, relax. When you're ready, bringing those feet on down into your final Shavasana. Just breathe, just relax. We have a few more breaths here, so enjoying every little bit you've gifted yourself this 20 minutes so enjoying this last little portion Wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingertips, good. 
and when you're ready, slowly, slowly coming on up into that seated position so that we can bat all it together. Ah, excellent job. Good work today in your flow. Kind of a fun position to go from your tiger into your cat, and then we can link everything up. Hope you enjoyed the kind of coffee slamming portion of the flow today. Just mixing things up and keeping things fun. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Do not forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and get those notifications. And lastly, if you really want to take your practice to the next level, open the description below where you will discover a brand new themed yoga challenge every single month. My name's Landon Slaughter, helping you discover that fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. I hope your coffee is more or less done and you are now ready to face your day with resilience and grace. Take care. I will see you in the next video and namaste.